All right, guys, I got some more options for you, specifically for Havoc on the hard path in the side quest. So here's an option. You can take Guillotine if you're willing to do the ramp up. She works really well for Mr. Sinister in general. I did take a hit, so it's over 200 uh, hits. I did lose my combo at one point when I decided to record the fight <laughs> in the middle. I should have recorded from the beginning. But uh, it took like over 200 hits. But then I can, uh, once I, he's at 5%, I can go ahead and drop the special three and I can start the Havoc fight with a uh, hundred combo and she's got the uh, armor up. So as long as I don't get hit, which I might in the Havoc fight, then uh, we can literally just bypass the nodes altogether. I did hear that Gallon's fantastic for this build up to like 900 planetary mass, just go medium, light, medium, medium, light, medium one heavy attack and then just back off and wait for the harvest to end and it just nukes them so that is definitely an option for the guys who have gallon i know i have it on I have them on one account but you can see here i did speed it up a little not like crazy but you can see here on uh this guillotine fight we're just gonna not we're just not gonna knock them down no specials no heavies and we're just gonna go raw damage with it's just gonna ramp up the degens on the mediums uh, we've got the armor up so we can basically ignore all the annoying plasma detonation damage and we can just wait till we get him down to 5%, drop that special 3 and take him out. Now, the longer you do the, the fight, there is more of a chance that, um, you know, uh, he does gain power naturally, so you got to be careful. Uh, when pushing him to special twos and those special like his specials when they're unblockable can be really annoying and I do get clipped I do get saved by my uh, oh, the guillotine 2099's awakened ability that when you get hit there's a chance that you're uh, gonna get the um, combo shield because you can't get combo shields normally by doing heavy attacks here because we're trying to avoid heavy attacks because we don't want to trigger the unstoppable. We don't have to want, I don't want to deal with intercepts. So no slow, no intercepts, no problem. <laughs> Guillotine 2099 is your answer to this annoying havoc. Again, did hear that there's other, uh, again, Silver Centurion probably also works really well, does have the slow access on his, uh, his heavy. We did show some other options in the previous video. Dragon Man worked uh, really well, uh, but you can see here, no problem, 73 hits in on this fight and we're halfway down. Our hits are just ramping up. We just gotta be careful on those specials. Uh, and pushing him to two bars of power is obviously easier to bait and counter the special two, but when you do it, you risk him potentially going to a special three and we don't want that. Normally we could power control with our special one, but again, we're not knocking him down. We're just going complete damage ramp up. Just on the base hits here, and works really well. And again, I used, um, on the, I went left side when I did my team of all cla one class and the right side, I picked a bunch of different champions, not of the same class. So for the full exploration and you do get um, a full T5CC crystal, you get like 3,000 six star shards and you get one cav worth of the, um, uh, the Mojo's Choice Crystal, so maybe there's an off chance that you get something good out of there, who knows. But now we're just saying, you saw I got hit there, now my timer for the uh, combo shield is uh, ramping up. I do get clipped, I think, one more time near the end, but it's right when he's below uh, 5%, so all I gotta do is drop the special three to finish it, so. It's not, it's not too bad, but there's definitely limited access on champions that can uh, get you through it. Um, but again, we've heard there's some cheese options out there. So you can see he's right here. He threw a special right, right at the end. That's fine. We survive. We throw the special three. And goodbye to the Annoying Havoc. Now, another option that I was saying before in terms of the Mojo boss, ability accuracy reduction is gonna be a big one. I went with a full mutant team on the other side and decided to just ramp up Archangel, gave him Apocalypse's pre-fight, gave him the guidance boost from Magneto House of X, gave him the horseman ability from Apocalypse, and then we're just gonna parry heavy and see how many neurotoxins we can put on this mojo and completely shut down the node. Don't have to worry about the disorient on the dashback. Don't have to worry about his annoying abilities and don't have to worry about the root. We can just completely shut 
down this mojo. So you can see here we're already at four neurotoxins, <laughs> another heavy, and we're at seven neurotoxins. Take all of that, spe most of that special one on the block. We're up to 10 neuros, make that 13 neurotoxins, and in 21 hits, he is absolutely melted. So hopefully this is a few more options for you for this last week of the side quest. Uh, good luck, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.